Presenting Cowboys and Dinosaurs. One of the only B movies I've seen so far that actually makes the dinosaurs not look like chocolate wrappers. Only fans account. Get your no, no, that's not what I freaking meant, you guys. Even though that's Hobson. He's hella hot though. You need to check him out if you don't know about it. I don't know what the hell that was. The raptors and dinosaurs start coming out of this cave. And this one character, who's a total badass and cowboy himself, tries to blow up the cave to prevent the dinosaurs from coming through. Oh shit, look, it's number seven, the neck. Huh? Ew, what is up with his face? He looks like an antique ball peen hammer. Yep, and he is just as cringy in this movie. Okay, he was way more cringy in the Piranaconda movie. But yes, here he is again in another one of these movies although i will say that this role fits him a lot better even though he's just as annoying because certain things happen in this movie that just make no sense when you consider how he's reacting something bad apparently happened to him when he had a rodeo and he got thrown off and then just acted like a total asshole to everyone look you could start riding again there's still some pay money in that no thanks hey cowboy's back how you doing buddy freaking rude to everyone that's how he is in this entire movie to the rest of the town who are just so happy to see him nobody cares that he fell off a fucking bull everyone's like oh my god val you know it's good to see you brother how are you doing you know it's good to have you back man hey you want to get back on the saddle they're not like haha look what happened to you you're a loser you left the town haha he he even though it's not that freaking funny no one treats him like this and he's just a total asshole to everyone who talks to him i mean what is with this guy like can he get a role where he's just freaking normal he takes everything to the umpteenth level he has to either be a douche and be surprisingly overly douchey or he has to be a total smoldering brooding weirdo and then be totally rude to everyone just because like what is your problem oh yeah and then apparently he like beat his girlfriend or something like that and ran off anyway the townspeople try to tell him that there was some major accident up in the mining area people were attacked by some animal we all know those weren't some ordinary animals those were Jurassic Park creatures. Of course, we gotta get the girls. We got to have the girls taking off the clothes. They all go down to the lake to enjoy themselves, and of course, someone's creeping on them. Sheriff all day. Tony, shut up already. I don't know what's with the acting with these people. I will be honest though, the main girl, uh, Val's ex-girlfriend, yeah, the broody number seven head guy, she actually does a great job during the rest of this movie, but this pool scene was just so uncomfortable. All the girls there, the way they behave, it's like they were forced into doing this. And I'm just like, dude, you feel uncomfortable. <laughs> Surely enough, someone is hiding behind them or hiding behind their vehicle. Robert, come out. There's nobody. Hey, ladies. I'm covering my cock so you can't see my heart on. I just had spine on all of us. <laughs> Why does that guy look like that? Holy shit, man. She's like, don't creep on them like that. You're so silly. I have no problem whatsoever that you're all up in their flappy flap, clap flaps. Goddamn asses. I need to get laid. Pronto A. Of course, one of their friends is dead, and it's just so weird the way that people freaking die in this movie. But then a big ass raptor jumps off of the thing and then tries to hunt them, and she goes into the water, and the raptor's like, oh shit, haha, -ha, I can swim. You didn't know that, did you? I swear to God, you guys, the first time I played Ark, I was on the beach, and I saw this thing that was on fire, and I didn't know what it was at first. I'm like, what in the hell is that? The frick is that? And of course, I waited because I'm like, okay, animal running and on fire, it's probably dead. No, it's not. It's some alpha creature that's super freaking powerful and is attacking me. I'm screaming my ass off. And then I run into the water and I'm like, okay, I'm safe. It comes into the water after me. You know how freaking terrified I was? I was like, I was done playing Ark for like a week after that, but it was amazing. I love hostile mobs. That's why I don't get games like No Man's Sky. I mean, that that's the extent of the danger that you get like, you know, little prickly things. I mean, might have changed now, but I need to have something to make me feel as though I'm going to die at any moment and I can't enjoy myself and have nice things. Not in the real world, but I do like that in my video games. Anyways, of course, she doesn't get very far because the raptor's like, I'm gonna swim. I, I barely made a splash, but yum, 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 yum. Then it goes after this guy. Like, what in the, the uh, why is it going after everyone and killing everyone? That's the main thing. The, the raptors and the dinosaurs in here don't actually kill to eat. They just kill to kill. And I'm like, why though? 
if you were all down there and starving for all this time or not having the best version of what meal you'd like, doesn't it make sense to like, you know, carry as many of these back down as, as possible? Also, maybe you can tell me, is this supposed to be Tennessee or Texas or someplace? I didn't look at the license plate, but usually you don't see mountains. So, you know, well, I know that Texas for the most part is just flat. It is brought to the attention of the sheriff that there have been some attacks on the miners. This guy has seen it firsthand and he's trying to tell him, look, <laughs> they're freaking lizard-like things that came out of the cave that you told us to dig that are now attacking everyone. Of course, this girl is in charge of the whole operation because her boss is telling her that she needs to get it done and she has horrible acting too. Completely and stay. <laughs> I just feigned anger. Did I do it right? This girl on the left, she is... She was a little bit shaky first with her with her acting, but she actually cleared up quite a bit. And I am actually really impressed with her acting skills. See, she has history with him. Number seven, ball peen hammer neck. People's faces are actually shaped like upside down triangles. She's obviously uncomfortable with him being there because apparently it hit her or something a long time ago because of the accident. I don't know what happened. They don't go into too much details, but if you get thrown off by a bull and you're upset because you got thrown off by a bull and then your like first instinct because you're sad and scared that you almost died is to slap your girlfriend. I mean, I don't really know what to say about that. Unless it's done in fun, like unless you want to get rough and, and, and just enjoy yourself. I mean, it could have been one of those cases where he was so upset about what happened they were making pretend and he's like honey i just pretend that you know you're me and i'm the bull <laughs> see responses like this are why people sign consent forms now as cringy as christian gay whoops as cringy as christian gay gay great oh <laughs> as dumb as he was he had the right idea signing consent forms <laughs> There needs to be a freaking safe word for these things and there needs to be consent forms and there shouldn't have to be, which is what makes it freaking sad. That's why everyone's so freaking repressed. Anyway, she can't stand him being there and she walks out. Then she calls her boyfriend, the sheriff, who I actually thought was her father at first. The sheriff comes along and he's like, how dare you come near my girlfriend? You hear her and I'm the sheriff and I'm gonna take you outside and give you a spanking. Well, I'm the number seven and I don't God count past eight. Huh? He looks hella old in this movie. Maybe, you know, age looks better on him, but he needs a little bit of facial hair and you cut, well, you know, never mind, whatever. Okay, so you decide to sucker punch the sheriff. That will really, that will really help you out. You're gonna go far, boy. You just got back here. Just to be clear, number seven headneck left the area, left his girlfriend, and so she hooked up with the sheriff. The sheriff didn't take her from him. She decided to go with the sheriff because old bony neck there, he left. Why is he so mad? I mean, I get that he, the sheriff had a gun and he was like, yeah, don't pull a gun on me. Why do you intend to use it? Like, bitch, this is the reason why he probably had the gun in the first place. But whatever. Grandpa and his granddaughter are about to get it. Well, I mean, I don't know, guys. What does it look like to you? Roar! Dinosaur shows up right behind him. Does she look like she's scared to you? Look at her reaction, dude. I can't stand these movies sometimes. I'm gonna do it right for stuff. Did someone say raptor? <laughs> Yeah, let's, let's, okay, honey, with horrible acting skills. And okay, people, with horrible writing direction, why would you have her just stand there? Is there not a bathroom you can lock yourself in? Wow. The two of them end up dead. And then this guy's in jail because he was an idiot. Meanwhile, his ex-girlfriend is sitting there crying because she did love him. You know, you can always make up after someone, you know, there are ex ex extenuating circumstances where that, where that would be allowed, but you know, unless you, especially if you <clears throat> like it but you just didn't realize you did at the time or you just misunderstood. Now let's move on. Sheriff is like, he's not a changed man and he was dumb enough to hit me. So I'm gonna keep him in jail forever. And I honestly feel so bad for the sheriff guy because I don't see anything wrong with what he said to the girl. Imagine that she's, he's in a relationship with this woman and then she's all like, my ex-boyfriend's back and, and, and I'm sad. Uh, ah! And he's like, are you freaking serious, bitch? Like what the frick is wrong with you, dude? I have done everything to protect you. And then he comes back after you having hated him for so long. And then all of a sudden you're all gooey over him he hit you he he hurt you i would never do that you still care for that boy after all he did see this is why he's so 
when people get into problems. You know, a blessing happens and the guy leaves and you're like, now that he's back. I can't blame her though, because it means that the dick was good. And he knows it too, that's why he's mad. <laughs> Dude, let her go. Let her go. Let her get slapped around. You need you deserve better. I mean, what happened back then wasn't his fault. Yeah. What the frick? How is it not his fault if he <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh dear. Bear in mind, okay, you guys, if you didn't want spoilers for this, you knew better, okay? But yes, at the end they end up back together, obviously. Because Mr. Seven Neckhead gets everything he wants. A golden boy broke his shoulder, fell into drugs and alcohol. Look, everybody gets knocked down once in a while. It's how you handle it. And he didn't handle it. He is right, don't you know? Like, he was pretty full of himself if that was his first go-to. Oh my god, I fell off a bull. I'm gonna go and lead a life in drugs and alcohol and then beat my woman to a pulp. Then I'm gonna come back and get my woman from the sheriff. Hey! Huh? And the girl's all like, you don't get to tell me how to fail. And I'm like, dude, are you serious right now? If the shoe had been on the other foot and then the guy had been the girl and the girl had been the guy, everyone would have been ragging on him and him ending up back with the freaking concubine would not have been a happy ending at all. Anyway, our superhero guy here comes in and sees that his neighbors have been thrashed to all hell by a dinosaur but for some reason the dinosaur only takes out a chunk out of their bodies and then leaves the rest like literally just a very superficial rake across the chest or just neatly pulls the innards out and leaves them at the floor with basically almost no blood pouring out of the individual they really skimped on the makeup artist on this one then we meet the really big big boss and he's so annoying i guess he's some australian guy who's like really full of himself and he always scrunches up his face so it looks looks like shoes that you put in the washing machine that shouldn't have gone in the washing machine. And then you tried to fix them by putting them in the dryer, but it only made it worse. Foresight, Miss Sinclair. Our cowboy hero goes out and tries to hunt for the dinosaurs. Nobody believes him, so understandably, he needs proof. He blows one of the dinosaurs up to smithereens, or at least he gets one of them. Ew. At least the raptors look pretty. I will give him that. The design for the raptors look really cute. He gets his gun and the raptor charges at him. He's like, come on, sucker, yeehaw! Raggy? So now he has dinosaur and he has proof to the rest of the townspeople that these things exist and they are killing people and they need to be serious about this monster in the town. Meanwhile, we go back to the stupid main character who I cannot stand. This is how to make an unlikable character, for God's sake. His girlfriend's a more interesting person, but you know what? They all, they all deserve each other. The only person I really like here, okay, the girl has great acting skills i will give her that but holy crap the older version of matthew mcconaughey which is this guy's father first of all he's handsome as hell and second of all he knows how to act greener pastures ain't always so green oh boy damn why is he so freaking hot though like what the frick is wrong with me freaking cowboy matthew mcconaughey talking goddamn gorgeous looking Old guys, god damn it. Meanwhile, big boss, big tits, big nose, big dude, whatever, whatever. He's like, you know what? I need my iridium. So you guys got to get back in there and open back the operation. And this girl says it's okay, even though I'm the boss. Our hero dude brings back the raptor. And he's like, look, I have it. And the sheriff's like, no, you want to start a panic? That's not a raptor. It's a mountain lion, even though all the other townspeople clearly saw there was a big ass dinosaur in the back of his truck. Then the rest of the movie just like... <laughs> spirals out of control <laughs> it's uh, raptors and dinosaurs eating shit because it's just raptors at first and then there's like t-rexes and triceratops so while everything is going to shit here mr seven is having a talk with his father by the way his acting is atrocious in this jesus i hate this character so much i was hoping he'd do a better job and i'm like why is the cringe so familiar <gasps> oh yeah <laughs> he's having a heart to heart with his father and then shit hits the fan I forgot what I was running from. You know, it wasn't Sky, it wasn't you, myself. You know what these are? The smallest violins playing the saddest song in the world. <laughs> Oh my god, funny. His father gives him a little bit of advice, and then he's like, boy, get out of the rut. I love you, son. You'll be fine. I love you, boy. <laughs> I need a drink. Whoa, 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 I don't like this shit out. <laughs> I love his reactions. I love how he's like, later on, he's like, this is not fun. <laughs> Yo, what is such a great actor doing in this stupid movie? Oh my god, I love it. 
And no, it's not just because I'm crushing on him. It's because he's, he's actually a really good actor. If he wasn't a good actor, trust me, my handsomeness radar would just go out the window because I would be so blinded by the freaking cringe just wafting off the person. This guy has no cringe whatsoever. Total 10 in my opinion. Then comes a mother freaking T-Rex. The group must survive and they all bump together and then a whole bunch of crap happens. And then we get an interaction when Sky is left by herself and the rest of the restaurant people are now dead. And of course, guess who comes in the save the day? Val does. Yeah, you're real inclined to listen to that sheriff, ain't you? Why did you leave me? What is wrong with you? Three years and you just come waltzing back? What did you honestly think was gonna happen here? What? What? I hate you! I hate you! I hate you! I hate you, Val! I hate you! She feel really bad for her. She did such a great job with that. Honestly, she probably just had a breakup recently and she was like, you know what? <laughs> I got this. I don't gotta act. Anyways, the sheriff gets ripped off by this guy and he's like, I'm gonna take your van even though I, I offered you some money to help me, but see ya, you're an idiot. Val, of course, gets to punch the sheriff and be like, you're no longer in charge. By the way, you wanna know how bad this actor is? His father comes in to save the day and this is his reaction. <laughs> <laughs> Not bad, huh? So he's screaming, because this is really sad, right? The best actor of this whole goddamn movie is dead, and he saved his son. And yeah, raptors spit venom in this, but only some of them. I swear to goodness, this entire thing is like a video game. It has different levels, and so do the mobs. So this is his father. His father, aside from him being a drinking fiend, doesn't seem like a really bad guy, but you'd think that the reaction would be a little bit better. And it wasn't the scream, okay? It was how he reacted afterwards. <laughs> oh darn. I'm sorry, Dad. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I beg your pardon? <sighs> God. Damn. A whole bunch of people die as they are being chased by the dinosaurs, the T-Rex and the raptors all together. You know, I keep wondering though, that horse was left out of every building while these people went around or while Val or number seven neck guy went around and was getting a whole bunch of supplies. The raptors somehow end up in the buildings, but they just walk right past the horse, the nice tasty horse just to go inside and kill the humans. Wow. Our hero unfortunately dies because the girls don't know what it means to cover someone even though they have two guns. Val rides a freaking triceratops by stabbing it in the freaking neck and it's just totally fine and the poor model's legs are going inside its stomach. Then the T-Rex chases the triceratops off the cliff and they die. And then they're like, oh, this is such a happy ending. But look at their reaction at the end. I'm so sorry that I hurt you. Oh, that makes everything okay, I'm sure. <laughs> Now that I've saved the day, right? And I rode a Triceratops and fell the T-Rex and beat a whole bunch of dinosaurs and got back on a horse to save you. <laughs> Everything's A-OK. -okay. Watch, I'm gonna slap you next year too. Really, bro? There is a fucking dragon hovering over you. No mind the dinosaurs. Now Satan's pet itself is flapping over you people. And all you can do is be like, let's finish this kiss real quick, honey. No need for concern. You goddamn idiots. They just ruined it with that ending. Holy shit. <sighs> you know what? I've had enough stress for today. I'm feeling so fine right now. If you want to watch this movie for yourself, you guys can buy or rent it on YouTube. It's right up there because YouTube makes it available for us. Unless you guys have a better idea. Otherwise, you can head on over to Tubi TV and support them by watching the commercials because Tubi TV is like the next cable television on the internet. See how smart they're getting with that stuff? Thanks so much for watching. This has been Ultiori. You ask, we answer.